Let me tell you the story. The story of a time in which I made a choice that I never thought I would ever make. We had just finished our adventures in Morocco. Mona on the streets of Casablanca and on the deserts of Marrakesh. We got on the plane and we knew that the next stop we were going to film in is in the Philippines. The islands of the Philippines. But in order to get there, we had to stop in Istanbul. Mona holding a braille safety card. <laughs> Tactile pages showing the emergency exits. Long trip, my friends. Stay tuned. So we flew to Istanbul and we were actually having a great time. It's a massive airport just adventuring around, buying gifts. Riding a cart on the terminal. We are now in Istanbul, and this really nice man is giving us a ride. Stay tuned. We got to the gate, takes my passport check. I'm about to pass through with my boarding pass. Takes Natalie's passport and says, you can't come. I was stunned. I was like, what do you mean? Why not? What's going on? And they were like, oh, Natalie's passport is about to expire. And we're like, but we checked. Everything should be fine. And they were like, nope, she can't get on. I'm the kind of person that doesn't really believe in, you just don't abandon your people, right? We're in it together. We're going to finish it together. And I remember very vividly, like, talking to Natalie and my heart dropping. And I'm like, what do we do? Because I'm thinking, like, we go to the United States Embassy, we figure something out, whatever. Is there another flight? That's another thing. Everything was booked. It was around Christmas time. There's a huge Filipino diaspora. A lot of people fly back for Christmas. So everything was just jammed and booked. And, like, there was just no alternative for two people to fly on another flight together. And this whole thing started calculating in my mind because I have to film. Like, I, I owe the people who are funding me. So... I parted ways with Natalie and that was like really huge and I was like so nervous about leaving Natalie, kind of like abandoning my teammate, like it was really tough for me. A split screen with Natalie in the airport and Mona on the airplane. So hello, this is Natalie coming to you from the Istanbul airport. Um, hello everyone, what's happened is that we were about to board the flight and we were stopped. They refused me from the flight. The Philippines requires a passport to be valid for at least six months in order to enter, and mine was valid for three. So we had to split ways, and so now I'm gonna be doing PTC truly on my own. The show must go on, basically. <laughs> Stay tuned, let's see what happens. Hey Mona, please call me as soon as you get a chance. I went to the Turkish Airlines transfer desk and they have no flights out to Manila. Their flight tomorrow night and all the way, the flights until the 22nd are overbooked and they're not able to issue a ticket. Please give me a call. We, we you know, we take off and I'm trying to get on the Wi-Fi, and I try and I try and nothing, it was broken. I can't help her. I can't connect with her. And it was like so nerve wracking. I had to just let go and hope that it was all gonna work out. Natalie in Istanbul. So I tried to strategize other routes and other airlines that got me there as fast as possible, assuming that the US Embassy was going to pull through and get me out of Istanbul within one business day. Since it is a Friday, it was this day or nothing. So everything was hinging on getting it done today. Hey Mona, still in the airport, um, again at the transfer desk, looking at a flight from Bahrain tomorrow night, and then Bahrain to Manila the next day. I'll keep you posted. So eventually I convinced the transfer counter to let me get a ticket because I saw one that I could purchase on Google, and I used that as a bargaining chip. Uh, I finally got to the hotel around 5.30 a.m. Hey Mona, how's it going? Sending you an update from Istanbul. I made it to the Hyatt and rebooked the closest flight from doing research online. It doesn't look good for getting an emergency passport. They don't do expedited services like within one to two days. Embassy opened at eight. I literally had my finger hovering over the call button to be the, their first call in the morning and explain my uh, emergency situation and they told me they could get me an emergency passport within one day and then I could get my 
passport pictures at a cafe across the street. <laughs> Natalie with a relieved smile, Turkish flag waving in the distance. Got my new passport, got a connecting flight to Bahrain. I don't know what else to report. Um, Mona, I hope you're doing okay. Hello everyone, I'm sitting here. We just landed in Manila. Natalie was able to go to the United States Embassy. And she got on the only available flight. Hopefully, it's gonna take a long time, but she's going to Bahrain and then to Manila with a 19 hour layover in Bahrain. But I've decided that I'm going to ask for assistance. Um, I need help with filling out the forms. So I'm gonna be asking for help. Let's see how it goes. On the jetway. Hello, everyone. I'm walking here with. Hello. An attendant helps Mona. Yes, hi, I'm Eliza Bless. Okay. Yes, <laughs> they're helping me out. She helped me fill out yes. the form that I need to do. And we're now walking over to customs. And so stay tuned. I'm really excited for what adventures lie ahead. Baggage claim. So I got help to be able to get the bags. So Ali here is helping me. Stay tuned. I do have to say it's a little bit weird that Natalie's not here. Say hi. This is Ali. <laughs> Ali waves. Baggage belt. Natalie, you see. Yes. Good. You got your bag, Natalie. Okay. Now we're going to the Hyatt shuttle. It's nearly Christmas in Manila, and friends and family are reuniting after years in quarantine. Yes. People embracing each other at the arrival gate. Amongst the arriving passengers, Mona is spotted in the crowd. Hi, Miss Mona. I'm from Grand Hyatt. I will be You're from the Hyatt? Yeah. Do you I'll mind if you're on camera? Yes, ma'am, no worry. My friend. Yeah, I have. Should be here. Yeah. I approach Mona. Ted. Here. <laughs> Mona, how are you? <laughs> The cameras shake as Mona and I excitedly greet each other. The end of my personal experience as a videographer. I don't think I did a good job, but I tried. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mona puts away her phone and gives me a fist bump. This isn't just a story about friends parting ways. It's a story about friends reconnecting. And one of those friends is me. But don't worry, Natalie's on the way here. And when she gets to Manila, the PTC team will be united in person for the first time ever. Natalie in the Istanbul terminal. I asked one of the, um... Watch that be Mona. She takes out her phone and puts it up to the screen. Mona's calling. Yeah, Mona. I'm literally recording, like, a confessional um, in the Istanbul airport. Look, I'm, I'm just, I'm grateful you pushed through. Everybody was doubting that you'd get the passport today. I was like, good job, Natalie. I literally said that out loud. <laughs> but I'm so proud of you, and I'm so grateful that I'm just, I had a conversation with God. I'm not going to lie. I was like, God, if we're meant to do this, if we are doing good with this, like, let it be. I think that's the power of PTC. Do I dare say what else you got? World? No. La. <laughs> no. Iktir. Mona Samaitini? Next time on Planes, Trains, and Canes, Mona riding on the back of a motorcycle, traversing the public transportation on a rainy day. It's really raining! Credits, the Planes, Trains, and Canes team. Mona Minkara, Natalie Guzzi, Benjamin Jimenez, Prithvi Rajmacha, Elizabeth Janney. Planes, Trains, and Canes is brought to you by the Graham Foundation and in part by the Massachusetts Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Special thanks to our dear friend and supporter of Planes, Trains, and Canes, Andy Rapista. If you'd like to see how you could help our team, email planestrainsandcanes at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe and press the bell for future notifications. Please tell your friends and your enemies and everybody else in between. Thanks.